All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm going to explain a little bit how I get around the spawn, still catch fish. Um, now, a lot of this, how difficult it is, can depend on where you live, what your rivers are like. I live in a very diverse area. I have many river systems flowing into uh, many reservoirs around here which dump into the Tennessee River. Some of these rivers are flowing out of the mountains, some are flowing out of Kentucky, uh, some, you know, but some have, di they have different water temperatures, bottom line. Uh, for instance, uh, Holston River, man, it comes out, they stock trout there because the water's so cold. Below Milton Hill Dam, that water's trout water. It's ice cold coming out of there. Uh, even in the summer, it, it'll, it'll hurt your bones, the water's so cold. Well, anyhow, uh, Catfish nest dependent on temperature. And so when I am fishing these reservoirs and things start getting slack, I have learned that I can jump reservoirs, jump lakes, or maybe jump from the southern part of the reservoir way upstream because the uh, downstream part of the reservoir will heat up faster. It's usually bigger, wider, deeper. That's the way they're set up around here. And so those fish tend to go on the nest first. Well, that also means those fish can come off the nest first because they started, but it also means that when these fish have went on down here, some upriver might not have went on yet. Well, anyway, I just went up to uh, Fort Loudon Dam. You know, we got run of water. It's a little cooler than what it is in some of the rest of the reservoir. And so I went up there hoping for some just small catfish is usually what you catch that time of year. Uh, when this is going on and uh well i ended up catching a couple small cats in there and i talked to this guy that said they were still getting some bigger cats right up on the lock wall uh that hadn't spawned out yet well i went up there the next week and that was a week too late anyway i, I headed up there i was all happy all excited got set up and I suspend drifted right along uh, the deepest section where the floodgates come out. Sat there thrown for skipjack. Well, I ended up catching one skipjack. After a while, I started to get desperate. You know what? The morning's running out. I ain't caught squat up here. There's a deep hole below the bridge. That's where I caught mine last time was in that hole. So I head down to that hole. All right, people. 20 minutes in. Things are looking grim. I'm getting these little teeny tiny pecks. Making me wonder if I've got any bait left at all other than just the skin. When you can't get even an eaten sized catfish at Fort Loudon Dam, oh man. It just don't get no worse than that right there. Woo! That fish ain't big enough to get a hook in his mouth. That fish is too small to eat. He's too small to eat my bait. And it probably ain't even big enough for a bigger fish to want to eat it for a meal. All those kind of fish do is steal. Put your bait on, next thing you know it's gone. This is ridiculous right here. 
It's too dag blasted hot. Am I catching anything? No, I'm not. What I should do is put a piece of that white bass on there. It's a lot tougher. It'll take a lot more abuse, and the small fish tend to leave it alone. This frozen skipjack, they'll chew it down to the bone. Right now, I'm in a small fish zone. All the big fish is laid up under a rock somewhere, sitting on a nest, I guess. Come on. Anyway, people, I ended up getting skunked. But I remembered back from my bank fishing days what I used to do when this would happen to me. And uh, one place I used to go, remember how I said uh, water's colder coming out of Melton Hill? Exactly. Only I went to more blue cat prone waters, which was below Melton Hill Dam. All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm on the cold, cold clinch. It's 4th of July weekend. Spawn is on, and uh, one thing that I always found when I was bank fishing, that when it got real tough during spawn, is a lot of times I could come over here to this clinch river and still get, you know, average sized blue cats biting, occasional striper. Uh, I can tell you that the water temperature is 10 degrees colder here than what it is in Fort Loudon right now. So basically I'm jumping lakes. Uh, I'm trying to just get by through this spawn, man. This place I ain't never, actually I've never been here. I've bank fished this river farther on down. I am set up just below a little island. I'm over about 17 foot. This river doesn't get real deep anywhere, about the deepest hole you can find for the first couple miles of the dam. It is around 24 foot of water. This is about 17 and I'm fishing that point right where the current breaks coming around an island. Drops off right there. Not seeing a lot of shad in here on my depth finder or even marking fish, but I know uh, when I fished it before off the bank, typically around the month of July, I done pretty good up here. Big old wad of frozen skip. This is probably an awful big bait for this river. And it's still afternoon, it's 90 degrees. I plan on fishing this river after the lights go out tonight a little bit. See if I can't score a catfish on video. There's a lot of current going on right here. I think for just something different, I'm gonna cut off a midsection of this white bass. I got one just below the boat with a float on it. This one I'm gonna suspend straight down. I don't know if this current will be weak enough to let me do that, we'll find out. Five ounce sinker I should be able to. It's not that big of a bait here. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, he come off! I'm leaving my camera shut off because of the extreme heat, it won't keep running. So I'm waiting for the rod to go down before I turn it on. Tonight I'll be able to leave it on. I missed him. Look at the slime. That was definitely a catfish. And that bite didn't take that long. That was an awful big bait. I'd just say he didn't have it quite in his mouth good. Probably a 12 pound fish or something. I'm going to put on a little. These skipjack I got now are a lot smaller. They are frozen. That's definitely a catfish. You see all that slime up and down the leader.
I look like a dark silhouette. That's dang sun, man. I don't know, man. I can swear that fish ain't even spawned yet in this core of waters. It's not beat up looking at all. That was caught on a piece of white bass. That's the second takedown out in this heat. I would just assume if I could fish here after dark, I'd get a few fish. Ain't nothing hitting a grub, ain't nothing hitting a spoon. It is what it is, I've got what I got. I'll be glad when that sun goes down because it's just too dag blasted hot. Maybe you get right before dark, you might see some skipjacks, but it don't mean they're not here, they're just not eating right now during this heat, I don't know. Anytime I take a good long break and then go back, it can be a, a trick finding the bait again. As far as skipjack, these skipjacks are always moving around. If you don't stay right on them, come back into this, they'll be gone. Could take you a week to find them again. Somewhere, somebody's catching them, but I'm not asking nobody where they're catching their bait because I don't want them asking me where I'm catching mine. This is just my time to have to depend on frozen bait. That's why I put it up. That's why I've got it. Woo! 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 I caught that one. I caught that one on camera. He smacked it once and let go, and then I turned the camera on. He smacked it again. On the white bass again, I need to be checking that skipjack and make sure it's still on there. About the same size as the other one. This time he got my bait. Got my bait. I guess I'll put that white bass head on now. And then I'll check, make sure that skipjack's still on there. I may go ahead and throw a third rod out. Cause that's uh, one takedown, two landed here in the heat of the day. I might as well throw a third rod out. White bass head, we'll try this. Aha! Uh -huh. It's hard to catch fish without bait, people. Hard to catch fish. I knew when that white bass don't typically outfish skipjack, something had to be wrong. I guess uh, I'm gonna throw a third rod out. Throw it way down river, I guess. Put a whole skipjack head on. Here comes them dag blasted jet skis back again. I don't know why they go that way if they're just gonna turn around.
Fish on the skipjack. Fish on the skipjack. Here they come again. There goes my skipjack head. Now that one's pretty skinny there. That one looks spawned out. The mothers had bellies on them. Looks like they turned back around good. I don't want them up here no help. About the same length, but just skinny. That's a spawned out fish there. Just got another takedown. I've got a major problem here. They seem to have turned the water off at the dam and my anchor was staying nice and straight. Uh, I've just totally lost current here. Well, he knocked the peg out of my float. They all running about the same size, man. Now I ain't got no current. Anyway, people, another lesson to catfishing is, and this I did not check on before I went down there, was uh, there's something about these reservoirs. When they turn the water off, the bite goes south. Now I don't know it's if it's because of the lack of current, or if it's because when they do that, the water drops a couple feet. It could be a combination of both. Either way, the bite goes south. So uh, here it is, still fairly early, like 7 p.m., and I start looking around, man, and uh, my lines are going slack, and uh, you know I'm starting to drift up river, and bottom line is they turn the dag blasted water off. Either way, people, uh, this jumping lakes thing can work for you during the spawn. Now, how far you have to drive can depend on where you live. In a diverse area like me, I can drive 20 miles this way, 30 miles that way, and I can definitely uh, get a fish year-round. Might not be big fish, but willing fish to bite. Now, if you live uh, in a place that's not as diverse as this, you may have to drive way south like five six eight hours down the road to catch fish that's already come off the nest or you can drive up north when the bite's terrible here it's great up in uh illinois uh ohio river upper ohio river because uh, those fish haven't went on yet but either way when it comes time and the bite gets tough in the bigger tennessee reservoirs that i'm fishing I know there are some colder water areas that I can go to and still uh, catch fish that haven't went on the nest yet. Either way, people, a uh, little lesson in jumping lakes. Uh, so there's a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.